it's Baby Boo, and today I'm going to be showing you how I edit my YouTube videos with Adobe Premiere Pro CC. If you haven't seen my last video on this, this is what the last one kind of looks like. I'll link something up in the card so you could go and click that link. And let's get started on this video. So you want to make sure you have all of your clips inside Adobe Premiere Pro CC. You just drag and drop. And I already did some, this video was my 4th of July video, and I put, like, um, something in the background, so it kind of looks like I have a border. So what you want to do with that, you want to put that always on line 1, because then your videos can overlap it on line 2. So here I'm just demonstrating what I'm doing. Usually I watch each clip, and I see how I want to just cut it with the cutting tool, and where I want to stop it and when I stop it that's where I cut it so that I keep letting it play because I don't want you guys to see like me grabbing things and stuff like that so then I just go and I ripple delete it and ripple deleting just makes the clips just delete themselves and right now I am just changing the speed all you have to do is right click and click speed and you can make it faster or you can make it slower so right now I am just going to play it to see how it looks, to see if the speed is right, the clips are right. So you see how it kind of slowed down after the one I sped up. And now I'm just trying to fast forward it so there's not a lot of time being wasted by me picking things up in my video. So I just keep cutting down the video. This is what I do and I do this by each clip. I don't drag and drop every single clip all at once on the timeline. So you just want to keep ripple deleting things you do not want to see in the video. And you can always move that little tool back and forth just in case you miss something. And right now I am dragging and dropping my next clip. I'm trying to figure out which one I filmed after that. And this, what I was doing was I was taking out the audio because I'm going to do a voiceover for that video. And what you do is you right click, you click unlink, and you clear the audio. Now I'm just watching the video and I'm making sure everything looks good. And now I'm in the effects and transitions. I'm going to put some transitions after each clip so it looks a little smoother. And I'm doing Dip to White. This one's one of my favorite cl transition clips. And what I'm doing right now is I'm making the timeline a little bit longer so I can see um, the transition clip in there. And I double click it so I could change the speed of it. So I'm going to make it 6 seconds so it's a little bit faster. And I'm going to copy it because I'm going to have the, have the same transition for all of them. So I'm doing that for every single clip. So now I'm going back and watching it again just to see how it looks. And I love how it came out. It gives your videos a smoother, clean finish. And you always want to make sure you save your clips every 10 minutes maybe because you never know, it might crash. It has happened to me. So this right now, I am recording my voiceover and if you can tell, there is a little microphone on the bottom. Now, you can only do this if you have a USB microphone attached to your computer. So you just press the record button, you talk, and it does say recording and then it comes up as this so this like green line you see underneath the pink one or purple that is the audio that you just recorded so I'm gonna go back and edit it because at some points in the video I'm not talking so I don't want that in my video because it might be background background noise that happened while I was recording so I just ripple delete just like I do in my videos And then I just moved the clips around to where I started talking and where I ended talking. 
and it always helps to stop the video so then you know exactly where you need to cut and delete so I'm doing the same thing throughout the video and now I'm just adding another clip on top of a clip so when you add it to another line you're adding it above that video so I'm just deleting the audio because this was a collaboration with Abigail Sunshine and I'm just adding the video on top of my video and I'm resizing it which I showed you before but all you gotta do is just play around with it see what, how big you want it or how small you want it and where you want it to start and where you want it to end you can kinda do it throughout the video you know if there's a certain point in the video you wanna show you can do that as well so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned a little bit of how I edit. If you like seeing videos like this, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll do more. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!